I have partnered up with Dehancer and in this video I will be talking about the Dehancer plugin for Photoshop. Dehancer is an advanced film emulation software compatible with macOS Big Sur and later versions and Windows 10 and later. Not only is it compatible with Adobe Photoshop, but you can use it for Adobe Lightroom Classic, all current versions of Capture One Pro, and even video editing software like DaVinci Resolve, Adobe After Effects, and even Final Cut Pro. Also, for a 10% discount on Dehancer products, use promo code MattGerDehancer10. There are a few variants of the OFX plugin for DaVinci Resolve. You have Dehancer Pro with complete film emulation and over 60 film profiles, Dehancer Lite, Film Grain, Bloom, Halation, breath damage, and monitor. More or less, you would want Dehancer Pro since it has all of these plugins mixed into one. Dehancer Pro is compatible with DaVinci Resolve, Adobe After Effects, Premiere Pro, and Final Cut Pro. Dehancer Film is the same as Dehancer Pro, but it's for photo editing software like Photoshop and Lightroom Classic. All of these features help accurately replicate the real physics of light with built-in profiles. Some of these film profiles are based off Kodak, Fuji Color Films, Cinestill, and Agfa. When you open Photoshop to get to your Dehancer menu, go to Filter, Dehancer, Dehancer Film. Then it will take you to the Dehancer menu. If you haven't purchased a license, there will be a Dehancer watermark on any photo that has been edited. But if you look to the left, there are a whole bunch of Dehancer profiles to choose from. When you click on the drop down menu for film type, there will be different categories. Favorites, color negative film profiles, motion picture film profiles, color positive, black and white, and even some exotic film profiles. The push-pull function refers to the combined exposure and development method. Let's talk about the Dehancer source tool. Exposure affects how much light is exposed to your picture which can make it extremely bright or extremely dark. The temperature, as the name suggests, puts more emphasis on warmer and cooler colors. You have the tint scale which spans through full RGB. Now, diffringe and diffringe radius helps with chromatic aberrations and the halation effect, which we will get into later. Let's talk about the film development tool. This method makes it possible to process film individually by arranging the elements of a photo to create your own recipe. In analog processes, development contrast is determined by developer temperature and concentration. In Dehancer, this can take both positive and negative values. Then you have gamma correction which controls how much the midtones are shifted towards shadows and highlights. Color separation affects the image at any contrast boost and controls the sensitization of emulsion layers and color boost can dramatically increase or decrease the saturation of an image. Then the film compression tool in Dehancer emulates film-like compressed tonal range so you can fine tune the assignment of highlights and midtones. So it adds more contrast of colors to your photos, it puts emphasis on those small details and it gives your pictures a cinematic feel. The expand tool is a separate manual for controlling the black and white points of a photo. The print tool lets you choose from a specific set of profiles and from there you can modify the exposure, tonal contrast, color density, and saturation. Colorhead applies tints to your photo and you can control shadows, midtones, and highlights. And do you know that grainy texture that you sometimes see on low quality pictures and video? To add more of a vintage look to your film, you can add grain to your images to sort of roughen that texture. That in combination with film damage and halation can really give that vintage look. Halation adds a red or orange halo near the contrasting boundaries of exposed areas, with the red glare usually appearing in midtones. It's really good at creating cinematic feels in your pictures or video by making those bright orange and red colors really stand out. Another Dehancer tool that I really like is Overscan. Overscan really captures the feature of motion picture film by showing the inner frame space, perforations, and portions of the previous and next frame. It really emphasizes the analog nature of an image, especially when combined with effects like film grain, film damage, and halation. Then the vignette feature is best for focusing on the subject of an image and adding extra depth to your photos. Everything that this Dehancer plugin has to offer plays a key role in creating cinematic effects to your pictures or video. It really simplifies the different filmmaking and film editing processes. All you really need is one good picture and Dehancer does the rest. When you're doing real production, getting the resources and machinery to make those quality films is very expensive. Very, very expensive. With all this in mind, Dehancer seems reasonably priced and it's cheaper than buying some expensive cameras and some expensive lighting equipment. Dehancer just makes your entire workflow easier. I actually tried my hand at editing a few pictures using the Dehancer plugin and I think they came out really well. I was impressed with what Dehancer can do. I mess around with Photoshop a lot so I'm pretty excited to see how big of an impact this will have on my content creation and overall workflow. That is all for this video. Thank you all for watching. 
watching please like and subscribe for more content and i will see you in the next video